Hi everyone, welcome to the end is at the corner and welcome to our tutorial about inverse variation. First, let's have this application of inverse variation. So, tignan natin itong dalawang variables na ito kung saan na i-apply natin yung inverse variation. For example, sa number of workers, kapag marami ang gumagawa ng particular job, mas maiksi yung time na magagamit to finish that job. On the other hand, kapag kakaunti ang workers, mas mahaba yung time na magagamit to finish a job. So, this is an example of inverse variation. Now, ang inverse variation is a relationship between two variables, let's say x and y, that can be written as y is equal to k divided by x, kung saan ang k ay hindi maaaring mag-equal to zero. So, in inverse variation, Mayroon tayong equation na ginagamit na y is equal to k divided by x. This also means y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x. So kung ano yung unang variable na binanggit sa ating variation, which is y, ito yung naka-isolate okay? sa isang side ng equation, is equal to k divided by x. So, yung pangalawang variable na binanggit, which is x, yun yung ipang divide natin sa k. Now, what is k? Ang k ay tinatawag natin constant of variation. At ito ang nagre-relate sa dalawang variables. Dito sa ating given, y at saka x or x and y. Now, iset natin halimbawa ang k or constant of variation into 12. And then, mayroon tayong values of x na 2, 3, and 4. Gamitin natin ang k at ang values ng x para makuha natin ang mga values ng y. So, gamit ang equation na ito, y is equal to k divided by x, gumamit tayo ng substitution. Yung 12, ipalit natin doon sa k, tapos yung unang value ng x, which is 2, ipalit natin doon sa variable na x. Now, 12 divided by 2, we have 6. Kapag ang x ay 2 at ang constant of variation ay 12, the value of y is equal to 6. Let's have the value of y when x is equal to 3. So, gagamitin pa rin natin ang k or constant of variation na 12. I-divide natin sa 3. That is equal to 4. So, kapag ang x ay 3, ang y ay equal to 4. Next, kapag ang x ay 4 at ang k pa rin ay 12, we have this 12 divided by 4. So, y is equal to 3. So, kung mapapansin natin sa ating table of values na nagawa, kapag ang value ng x ay tumataas, ang value naman ng y ay bumababa. So, isa yan sa maaari nating ma-observe sa inverse variation. Now, kung multiply natin yung variables na x and y, we have 2 times 6, we have 12. 3 times 4, 12 rin ang magiging product. And then 4 times 3, we also have 12. Pare-parehong 12 ang makukuha nating product kapag multiply natin ang variables na x and y. Therefore, para makuha ang k or constant of variation, kailangan lamang nating i-multiply ang given variables. So, dito nga sa ating given, ang variables natin ay x and y. Kaya ang ating formula to get the value of k or constant of variation is k is equal to x times y. Now, kagaya nga nang nakita natin sa table of values at saka sa unang example natin kanina, Sa inverse variation, kapag ang isang quantity ay tumaas, ang isang quantity naman ay bababa. Kapag naman bumaba ang isang quantity, tataas naman ang isa pang given quantity. So, yun ang relationship ng dalawang variables sa inverse variation. Now, let's have more examples of inverse variation. If there are more people sharing a given amount, then each person will get less. For example, sa isang pie, kung sampu ang maghahati-hati dito, maliit na share lamang ang maaaring makuha. Samantala, kung dalawa lamang ang maghahati sa isang pie, mas malaki ang part na makukuha ng bawat isa.
So that's an example of inverse variation. Let's have another example. Less speed, more time is taken to cover the same distance. Siyempre, kapag halimbawa mabagal ang speed ng isang sasakyan, mas mahaba yung time na magagamit. Pero, kapag same distance ang ating ita-travel, tapos mas mabilis ang speed na gamit, mas maiksi ang time na magagamit sa pag-travel. Now, let's translate the following statements into equation. So, K is the constant of variation. Number one, Z varies inversely as B. So, ang unang binanggit dito ng variable ay Z, tapos varies inversely as B. Ito ang ating magiging equation. Isolate natin yung unang binanggit na variable, which is Z, is equal to yung pangalawang variable na binanggit, yun ang ipang divide natin sa K or constant of variation. So, we have Z is equal to K divided by B. Yun ang katumbas ng Z varies inversely as B. Number two, M is inversely proportional to N. Correct, our equation is M is equal to K divided by N. So again, ang unang binanggit natin na variable ay M is equal to yung pangalawang variable na binanggit ay i-divide natin dito sa K or constant of variation. So M is equal to K divided by N, ang katumbas ng M is inversely proportional to N. Last example sa pagtatranslate, we have C is inversely proportional to S. So, ang magiging equation natin para dito ay, correct, C is equal to K divided by S. So, yung C, yung unang variable na binanggit, naka-isolate, is equal to K divided by S. Yung S yung pangalawang variable na binanggit, kaya ito ang ipinang divide sa K or constant of variation. So ito yung ilan sa mga halimbawa ng pagtatranslate ng statement into equation of variation. Now let's proceed to the table of values. Paano naman natin ma-identify kung ang given table of values ay inverse variation or nagpapakita ng inverse variation or hindi? Let's have this example. Ang values ng x natin dito ay 3, 6, and 12. Ang y naman ay 8, 4, 2. So tatandaan, hindi ibig sabihin na pataas yung value ng x at pababa yung value ng y ay inverse variation na agad ang ating table of values. Kailangan natin itong i-check. Paano? Kailangan nating tignan yung K or constant of variation. Paano nga ba natin ulit kinukuha ang constant of variation sa inverse variation? Gumagamit tayo ng formula or equation na K is equal to X times Y. Imumultiply lamang natin ang ating given variables na X at saka Y. So we have here 3 times 8 o kaya naman 8 times 3. Product is 24. 6 times 4 or 4 times 6, we have 24 also. And then 2 times 12, product is 24. Now, pare-pareho ang nakuha nating product, which is 24. Ibig sabihin, this is our K or constant of variation. And this table of values shows or expresses an inverse variation. Next table of values. So this time, we have values of x na 3, 6, and 9. Tapos ang value naman ng y ay 8, 5, 3. Kung papansinin natin, sa variable na x, pataas ito, at ang variable na y naman ay pababa. Pero, i-check pa rin natin ang k or constant of variation. Again, i-multiply lamang natin ang given variables, yung x at saka yung y. Now, 8 times 3, we have 24. 6 times 5, we have 30 as the product. And then 9 times 3, ang product ay 27. So kung mapapansin natin, hindi pare-pareho ang nakuha nating product. 
Therefore, this is not an inverse variation. So, yun yung steps na kailangan natin gawin upang malaman kung ang table of values ba ay inverse variation or hindi nagpapakita ng inverse variation. Kailangan lamang nating i-multiply ang dalawang variables at kailangan equal ang makukuha nating product. Now, paano naman tayo kukuha ng equation of variation gamit ang table of values? So, ang ating given is y varies inversely as x, kaya ito ang ating magiging equation. y is equal to k divided by x. So, tandaan, yung unang variable na y is equal to k divided by x. Yung pangalawang variable na binanggit, yun ang ipang divide sa k or constant of variation. Next, kailangan muna nating alamin kung ano yung k or constant of variation. Kailangan nating i-multiply ang mga variables na x at saka ang y. So, k is equal to x times y. Multiply lamang natin. 2 times 6, we have 12. 1 times 2, we also have 12. And 4 times 3, we have 12 also. So, pare-pareho naman ang ating nakuhang product. Therefore, our k or constant of variation is 12. Yang 12 na yan, maaari na nating ipalit sa ating equation of variation na y is equal to k divided by x. Yung k, palitan lamang natin ng 12. So, our equation mula dito sa table of values na ito ay y is equal to 12 divided by x. Now, let's proceed to the graph of inverse variation. Ang graph ng isang inverse variation ay tinatawag nating hyperbola. So, ang isang hyperbola is a smooth curve. So, kung sa direct variation, straight line ang graph, dito sa inverse variation, hyperbola or smooth curve ang ating graph. And, hindi mag intersect sa 0, 0 ang ating hyperbola or graph ng inverse variation. Hindi rin mag intersect sa x-axis o kaya naman sa y-axis ang graph ng inverse variation. So again, ang graph ng isang inverse variation ay hyperbola. Now let's try to solve the following involving inverse variation. Given that y varies inversely as x, find a constant of variation kung ang x ay 3 at ang y ay 7. So ang una natin kailangan gawin is gumawa ng equation. So, mula dito, we have y varies inversely as x. So, ang magiging equation natin ay y is equal to k divided by x. So, ang k, yan ang ating constant of variation. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is yung k. So, ang gagawin natin is gumamit tayo ng substitution. Ito yung unang way para masolve ang problem na ito. Okay? Hinahanap natin yung k. Substitution. Yung y, papalitan natin ng given na 7. And yung x naman, papalitan natin ng value ng x, which is 3. So, we have 7 is equal to k divided by 3. Next, ang gagawin natin is mag-multiply tayo both sides ng 3 para ma-eliminate natin yung denominator ng k, which is 3. So, again, kung ano yung denominator natin, yun ang gagamitin natin pang-multiply sa both sides ng ating equation. So, ito na ang ating panibagong equation. Nag-multiply tayo both sides ng 3. Next, pwede na natin itong isimplify. Since kapag i-multiply naman natin ang 3 sa numerator na k, i-divide rin natin yan sa denominator na 3. So, eliminate na natin. May iwan na rito is yung k or constant of variation and then multiply yung 7 at saka yung 3. 7 times 3, the product is 21. Therefore, the constant of variation or k is equal to 21. Now, let's use the other method. Alam naman natin na sa pagkuha ng k or constant of variation sa inverse variation, multiply lamang natin yung given variables. So, dito sa ating problem, ang given variables ay x at saka ang y. I-multiply lamang natin yan para makuha natin yung k or constant of variation. So, substitution, yung x palitan natin ng 3 na given, and then yung y palitan natin ng 7. Pwede rin namang baliktad, 7 times 3 or y times x. So, kapag minultiply natin yan, 
k is equal to 21, which is the same lang doon sa nakuha natin kanina. Now, let's have another example. If y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 6, then what is y when x is equal to 15? So, dito mayroon tayong dalawang set ng values ng x at saka y. So, first, gumawa muna tayo ng equation. y varies inversely as x. So, ito na yon. y is equal to k divided by x. Next, ang gagawin natin is isosolve muna natin yung k or constant of variation gamit yung unang values ng x and y. So, sa unang given, mayroon tayong 10 na value ng y at 6 na value ng x. So, ipang sa substitute muna natin ang mga yan dito sa ating equation of variation. So, yung y, palitan natin ng 10. And then, yung x, na ipang divide sa k, palitan natin ng 6. So, again, multiply natin both sides by 6 para ma-eliminate natin yung denominator na 6 dito sa k. Kapag multiply natin yung 6 sa numerator, maaari naman natin i-divide na. Okay, so 6 divided by 6, may iwan na lamang yung k or constant of variation. And then sa kabilang side, 10 times 6, we have 60. So ito na yung value ng ating constant of variation na gagamitin natin para ma-solve yung y sa pangalawang given natin. Okay? So, y is equal to, gamitin natin ang equation na ito, y is equal to yung k na nakuha natin, 60, divided by yung pangalawang value ng x, which is 15. 60 divided by 15, y is equal to 4. So, nasolve na natin ang ating problem. Ipakita naman natin yung pangalawang method. Gagamitin natin ang equation ng constant of variation. Since k is equal to x times y, and mayroon tayong dalawang values ng x and y, alam natin na pareho lang sila ng value ng k or constant of variation. So, kuhanin na natin yung x times y na ito. Gawin nating x sub 1 times y sub 1 is equal to x sub 2 times y sub 2. Again, since pareho sila ng value ng k or constant of variation, kinuha na lamang natin yung x times y. And ginawa natin x sub 1, y sub 1 para sa unang values ng x and y. And then x sub 2 times y sub 2 para sa pangalawang values ng x and y. Next, substitution. Sa unang set natin, ang value ng x ay positive 6. And then, ang unang value ng y ay positive 10. Is equal to, yung pangalawang value ng x naman ay 15. Times, yung pangalawang value ng y ay nawawala pa or missing pa. Yun ang ating isasolve. Kaya, y muna ang ating ilalagay dito. And then, multiply lamang natin yung nasa kabilang side. 6 times 10, we have 60. Is equal to 15 times y or 15y. Kailangan y lamang ang maiwan dito sa kabilang side. So, mag-multiply tayo both sides ng 1 over 15 or mag-divide tayo both sides ng 15. So, 15y divided by 15, this will be y. And then, 60 divided by 15, this is equal to 4. Therefore, y is equal to 4. Same lang din sa nakuha natin kanina na value ng y which is 4. So, yun yung dalawang paraan para makuha natin yung missing variable dito sa ating given problem. That's it for our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and we hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.